While their country staggers through an economic crisis with no end in sight, Cubans are leaving in unprecedented numbers. This medical student plans to fly to Nicaragua before journeying up to the US-Mexico border. He insisted on anonymity for fear of reprisals. Of the countries for which you don't need a visa, Nicaragua is closest to the US. That's why people fly there. He'll pay $5,000 for flights and a people trafficker. Or morir, or llegar. Either I get there or I die. Those are my two options. I can accept dying in the hands of a coyote or during the journey, but I won't die as an old man lining up for food here in Cuba. He says the island's become a desert. Most of his friends have already left, and around half his class who began studying medicine four years ago has since vanished. Those who can leave legally. Anna Delia waits while her mum collects a long-awaited US visa. When the time's right, she also plans to leave. Almost everyone is leaving. In the last six years, ramped up US sanctions have hurt the island's economy, knocking billions of dollars a year off state revenues. At the same time, the post-Castro generation of politicians seems short on ideas and have been unable to lead their country out of these economic troubles. Few think things will improve. Hopelessness pervades. Emigration has been part of the Cuba story for generations, but that trend's accelerated since the pandemic. A record number of Cubans emigrated to the US last year, and most young people I speak to say they'd like to leave too. Some Cubans say their islands are prison without bars. And yet, if they can make it to the US's southern border, they have privileges other Latin Americans don't enjoy. If a Cuban arrives at the U.S.-Mexico border and asks him why he wants to come to the U.S., the classic response is, because I want freedom and human rights. And without providing evidence, the immigration official has the authority to grant him entry to the U.S. This week, the Cuban government announced more austerity measures to tackle diesel shortages. This mass exodus has no end in sight. Ed Augustin, Al Jazeera, Havana. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.